when you're drawing the cat, you want to start out thinking about the bone structure because that's going to help you figure out what angle the arms and the legs and the tail and things are. And then your drawing will be more accurate. So cats have a really interesting bone structure. It's different than people. We can start out by the back here. They have a spine, just like people do, only their spine functions a little bit different than us. And it also has a tail attached, so the bone structure comes all the way down through the tail. Now, this is this here, this spine and this bone structure is actually made up of little pieces. So you can imagine these are all little pieces that are connected. And that's what makes cats able to be so flexible and arch their back when they're mad and that kind of thing. Okay, so they have this nice spine going on here. They also, up in this front area, have a shoulder blade. And their shoulder blade is sort of uh, kind of a funny shape like this. It's like a little skinnier here and a little wider. So they have a shoulder blade and they have two of them, one on each side. And if you ever pet a cat on the top of the neck right there, you can feel their little shoulder blades. All right, and connected to that shoulder blade is a bone that comes this direction and part of their arm. They've got a little elbow here and then they've got a bone that comes down. Now this is where it's a little tricky. Cats on the front walk on their toes. So they actually have a joint right here and it comes down and then they have another joint here where their toe is. So this is technically their heel. Okay, and these are like their little fingers. And you can see on this side here you can see that joint a little bit right there comes down and this one comes up here and now this this bone right here attaches to a similar bone like this on the other side of the cat so it's coming up kind of like this is hidden because it's on the other side of the cat but it would be back here and there's another shoulder blade attaching on the other side like that all right they also have a neck right so they've got a neck here that's going to support their skull which you can sort of see this shape it's sort of rounded here it comes down kind of like that their ears are soft there are no bones in there and again their neck is flexible so it's got these little pieces okay so now in this area here they have their ribs right and so what happens here is cat ribs okay and then if we come to the back we have to think about how do their back legs function so cats have hips back here sort of in this area and connected to the hip they have a bone like this in their leg and like this and this right here is considered their knee right so this would be their thigh bone this is their knee this is their heel that's their foot and their toe okay so that's where they're a little bit different than humans that they'd walk on their toes like that all right and then over here if we go backwards that's their toe that's their foot the knee is right over here and it's behind you know you can't really see it but it's kind of like this and there's another set of hips back behind there. Okay, so that's the basic bone structure of a cat. So the basic bone structure is important to know because we're then going to identify shapes that are in there.